Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 must grows. And before I start, I want to say thank you to everyone who has supported my channel and to everyone who has subscribed, commented and liked. Thank you so much. And let's get into it. Now, the first thing I love to grow is squash. Squash is so prolific you can harvest a lot of squash from one just one plant and it matures in about 50 days so that's the good thing about it and there are many different varieties also now the three varieties i'm growing this season is early prolific straight neck what else early white bush scallop squash i think that's the name I'll put a picture right here, and also a hybrid zucchini. I mentioned in my last video that here in Amman, heirlooms aren't really something that people care about because if you get a harvest off your plant, that's all that matters. And yeah, but if you do love the thing that you get or the fruit that you get and you want to grow it next year, you won't get the same thing at all because, as I said, hybrids don't produce the same thing every year like heirlooms do. So yeah. Now something that I love growing also are cucumbers. I'm growing Monaga Jabai cucumbers and they are so easy to grow and they produce a ton. And Something I re regret doing is overwatering because I got root rot, so please do not overwater your plants. And I plan to keep some cu cucumbers in my garden for a very long time. And I plan to grow all the other different varieties. And also I want to try cross-pollinating because maybe I will get something that I do like though I won't get it every year um, experiment that's a good thing I'm experimenting so I want to do that with my squash and my cucumbers now the third thing I'd love to grow is okra I'm growing Alabama red okra and also a hybrid okra now the thing with okra is if when it starts producing and it's about this big you have to check on it maybe the next day because it can get big super fast and the flowers also are so beautiful they are related to hibiscus and marshmallow root so that's the good thing basically they are so prolific they produce a lot and their flowers are beautiful now I also love growing mustard I'm growing Japanese giant red mustard and Japanese giant red mustard isn't the best thing for saving space because the leaves get massive but the taste is incredible um, I'm growing also another type of mustard but I mixed up my seeds I love seeds I love organizing my seeds and I just mixed up the seeds so yeah now the last thing I love to grow is radish. Radish is so easy to grow. It takes such a little amount of time to start producing a bulb for the bulb radishes, the globe sorry, globe radishes. They take about 30 days and they can be grown in such a small space. And there are many different varieties you can choose from. So that's the good thing about them. Now, I'm gonna give you also a bonus, which is cantaloupe or melons, most melons. I love growing melons. I grew them before, but I had a problem with blossom and rot, and I just lost the whole plant because of pests and because of blossom and rot, as I said and yeah 
Something that is good for saving space, some, a cantaloupe that's good for saving space is Minnesota Midget Cantaloupe. You can get it from Baker Creek and I'll put it in the link down below. And it's a melon that's about this size and it's something that's really good to grow. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Please subscribe, like this video and comment down below. So what I meant to say was, please comment down below if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.